And welcome everyone to this MBA Plus uh, Business School guest lecture. How did you train yourself to think scale? I'll, I'll tell you where I'm coming from in India. While we have population scale, right? Scale in terms of population. It's not natural for us, we're not taught like that, to build products at public scale. I mean, we, we, we have built UPI, we have built Aadhaar, and of course you have certain thoughts on that. But what was there at Stanford or at Caltech that, that really made you understand scale, think scale, you know, because when you went from India to the US, I'm sure your parents or your education or your family wouldn't have said severe scale, right? You were just like one of us, but something clicked there. Something changed you. What, what changed you? Yeah, damn good question. Phenomenal. Um, it's not scale. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, it's independent original thought. Because when I first went there at Caltech, I was asked to write a paper in the humanities and I was given four books as reference material. So like a good Indian student, I read those four books and wrote a summary of what I read. And I uh, submitted my paper a week later, the following week was the class and uh, the professor was like, uh, in a very diplomatic way, he uh, said that most of the papers were good, originalized. There's one which you know, needs work. And that was mine. And I got a D. So after class, I went to him and I said, this and Professor, I think I, I read the four books and I summarized everything. You know how we do in India. We read everything, make summaries, write that thing. And he says, I've read those four books too. That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for your ideas and your point of view after you read those books. What is original? What do you think? And how do you? How would you solve this problem? Or what is your opinion on this? Wow. You know that I said, give me, give me another, another chance. And I uh, went back and rewrote it, and I said, you know, this is a beautiful country. <laughs> it, sure. it encourages original thought. Because human progress is made from original ideas, wow. not from copycat ideas. That's not progress. That's existence. That's just following somebody else. And uh, since then, I've just been thinking of original ideas. And so, for example, it was my idea to do the personal web-based database. And I recruited Jack Smith as a partner. I didn't say my idea is better than yours. I said, hell, this is much better than what we're doing. Let's do it. Wow. Wow. You know, this is, I am not kidding you. If we were to just pause, like pause this moment of this session, like pause it forever, etch it down in your memories. I'm not kidding you. Trust me on this. I've been through a cycle of transformation myself. I know what I'm talking about. Original thought. A lot of rhetoric is on make in India. What are the two fundamental changes that you, you know, suggest to us wherein we can move from make in India and owned by Indians? No, no, no. Bad idea. Very bad idea. Why, why, why do you say so? No, no. The, the ownership. Yeah. You don't have to own anything anymore. You know, it's, don't, it's, once again, this is an old narrative of us versus them. They are colonizing us. We should own ourselves. Technology does not, nobody owns anything. You have to, th that, that frame, framework is wrong. We have to embrace, you know, Japan is in terms of per capita income, I think the second highest or third highest, the top three, four in the world. Sure. We are like 90th or something. What is the Japan model? After they were defeated in the war, they said, hey, listen, we made a mistake. We want to be your friend. We will not spend any money on, uh, you know, fighting any of our neighbors. Help us, America. The latest technology, Japan built it on hard work. We are not working hard. We are just fooling each other. We have to embrace all kinds of technologies wholeheartedly because, frankly, we missed the boat on trying to create it on our own. 
Whether it is owned by us or anybody else, doesn't matter. The real asset of India is not its land. No, China is not trying to take away our land. That's a false narrative that is being told to you. And nobody wants land anymore. Land is an outdated concept. The real value of India are its people. And we have to employ people, have them work hard, and have them live a good, meaningful life. We are not giving that opportunity to hundreds of millions of people. And that is our biggest problem. It's just a way of thinking. Who the hell cares who owns what? But, but uh, just, just building on Dr. Jatinder's question, um, why wouldn't or why shouldn't we care about the fact that if I'm using Facebook or WhatsApp or any of, of, of these tools, you know, fundamentally my data is stored in the US based server, which is controlled by a US law and 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 my data is with them. I mean I'm 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 with them. So is mine. Do I care? My data is with uh, them too. I mean I'm getting I'm getting some use out of sure. using yeah, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some connectivity, people. So what? If you really think that is a problem, create something better than Facebook. Yes. yes. Great answer. I, yeah. I agree. Don't yes. don't worry yes. about data is here, data is so what if the data is there? Yeah. Don't complain. Don't worry about ownership. In fact, ownership is an outdated, even as a concept, ownership is on its way out. I own a few properties. I'm trying to get rid of them. I just want to rent everything. The rental model is the best because our time is limited on planet Earth. We have to maximize our experiences. And ownership is an experience. I've already been there, done that. I'm out of it now. Oh yeah, everybody wants to own. People who have a lot want to own even more. Wrong model. The model is wrong. My son is now five years old. The like school system wants them to memorize the things. How to cultivate that original principle or the? So you 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 have two systems for your kid. If one is you let the kid go through the regular school system, but outside of class, develop mm -hmm. those those. Uh, natural instincts, out of box thinking, encourage out of box thinking, spend time. I take my kids on nature hikes all the time, teach them about birds, you know, teach them about, uh, you know, animals, how they think, you know, why does a bird move in a certain way? What is a bird? You know, how do insects? I've got an orchard at the back of my uh, yard where you know we are growing cherries and I go plucking cherries, teach them, is there a better way of plucking these cherries? You know, it's, yeah. you teach them about life because that is real education. The book knowledge is useless, 100% irrelevant completely. I went to the best universities on the planet yeah. and I'm saying I didn't use one differential equation <laughs> I didn't use one <laughs> calculus. I didn't do anything all my life. On that note, uh, Sabir, thank you so very much for joining us today. I think this was totally, totally brilliant, especially for me. You know, uh, we actually have something very interesting, um, something that uh, uh, you know, it increases the person's responsibility and accountability as well. I'll tell you what, what, we, what we do. Sabir, uh, this is the Piranga. Thank you. And uh, the Indian national flag. Yes, yes, I know. Um. <laughs>